Hey, what's up guys? Mario here. So, you guys know that uh, most of my videos on this channel are related to uh, computer water cooling. And I will say that most of them wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for my, you know, my uh, 6040 CNC. But uh, this time, I'm gonna try to build my own CNC. So, I'm gonna show you some of the things I'm gonna be using to try to build my own CNC. So I just wanted to make this video really uh, to show you some of the things I'm gonna be using before I actually start building my own CNC. So this is the linear rail I'm gonna be using for my CNC. It's actually a, a 25 millimeter, which means this rail it's actually, you know, around 25 millimeter. So the bigger that you go, just, you know, the they sell it, I think, in from 15 to, I'm not even sure, maybe 40, 45, or maybe even bigger. But the bigger the number, I guess, you know, 15, 20, 25, this rail just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And of course, you know, the linear uh, rail block will actually increase in size too. Uh, this, this brand stuff um, is actually made in China. So, but I found this company here in the United States uh, called uh, Trimentech that sell this from, you know, from the 15 to I think maybe 35. I think 35 is the biggest one that they carry maybe, or maybe that's the biggest one that they make. Uh, I ordered it from them. And to tell you the truth, this was, let's say, only the only uh, size 25, let's say, cheap, you know, that I found because uh, there is, you know, there is any other brand like THK, NSK, maybe even Highwing, I didn't really quote uh, Highwing, but uh, uh, this wasn't, you know, too expensive and the quality, I think it seems, you know, really good. There is, I mean, there ain't no play here on this uh, uh, linear rail block. So that's why I decided to go with them. I'll try to put, you know, links, you know, for all of this, you know, in the description in case you guys are interested. Uh, here I have the, the aluminum extrusions. I got them from the uh, company uh, called uh, 8020 Inc. Um, this is actually the 15 series, which means the smallest that they that, that it comes is actually 1.5 inches by 1.5 inches. But this, the one I have here in my hand is actually a quad. So it means it's just, you know, four four point you know 1.5 inches you know all the way around so in in reality it's a three by three and you can get it 1.5 by three three by three and they make it uh, three by six so i decided to go you know to make my cnc out of a, a aluminum extrusion and you know some pieces i'm gonna need to cut with uh, just regular uh, 60 61 you know, aluminum plate. Since I, you know, I need to do, you know, some of pieces for, you know, for the size or for the C axis. But when I, you know, place my order from a 8020, I just, you know, you know, choose the measurements that I want and then they send it to me. And I gotta tell you that, I mean, even though this is the legs, this four pieces are the legs for the CNC that I mean they're they're close they're I mean they're almost perfect let's say you know uh, all the measurements that I send they they send it you know really really you know let's say perfect um, so I'm really glad I placed my order you know with them so I don't have to do you know cutting or try to, you know, do something here, you know, but 
if you guys have you know the tools to cut you know all these you know aluminum extrusions might be cheaper if you just buy maybe the whole you know the whole uh, the whole piece and then you can cut it yourself or if you have you know uh, better tools you can even do it you know out of uh, steel which is stronger than aluminum but it does require you know some tools to actually try to make it out of steel but I ain't got you know none none of those tools really so that's why I just went with uh, aluminum extrusion and a 6061 you know aluminum plate uh, here I have the uh, the Ethernet uh, smooth stepper I was the other day when I got it I just opened it and you know I was looking at it and for the price that I guess I paid you know it would have been nice I guess you know to maybe send you you know some some actually some uh, standoffs because there is not really no mounting hardware in here so and then if you check their website it says you know do not, do not mount it you know directly to you know you know i guess to a piece of board just like this you know try to put like standoffs but i guess they couldn't just give you you know a couple of standoffs to try to mount it so at least i had some you know from previous projects so i'm gonna be using you know some of those to try to mount this but you know from the reviews and you know the people that have been using this i think you know this is probably one of the best uh, uh, components i can use you know to build my cnc uh, oh here i got the it's actually a, a servo motor is uh they're made from a technic and i did some research on them and everywhere i you know everywhere i go the people just kept saying you know that these are actually great uh the good thing about these ones is that the driver and uh, encoder are actually building in, into you know into this piece right here so they really don't lose a step you know versus the stepper motor uh, they tend to have a lot more torque and probably speed and at the same time they're actually gonna be a little easier to connect because I don't have to buy a separate driver so all I gotta do is just uh, connect the signals coming from the uh, smooth stepper and power into the motor and maybe just one more thing to, uh, to program it but uh, you know that's it really so less wiring uh, I mean more speed more torque they don't lose steps so and for you know for the little size I think it's you know it's like a perfect it's, they're not cheap but you know you get what you pay for so and here I have uh, the uh, some 1605 ball screws that I got from eBay um i did have to do a couple things to it one was that i needed to send right here at the front with you know with like a little sandpaper i think uh 600 you know a couple couple times i had to you know just go back and forth go, go back and forth because this bearing right here wouldn't go in all the way it used to get stuck so I had to send all of them you know all three I had to send here right here in the back I think it was fine maybe I think maybe one just needed like a little pass but that's it and then uh, most of the screws are you know were good except one if you see this one is actually really good let's say I mean it don't spin that it just goes all the way through but it's, you know it's really easy to spin um there was one that what i did is 
I put some WB40 into this hole, which the good thing about these ones, that's why I actually went with this one, is that they give you, where is it? They give you, or it comes with, you know, with like a little uh, uh, grease nipple. So, in case I need to service the ball screw, it should be easier with the, you know, with the grease nipple, I can, you know, just uh, put new grease, uh, try to clean it and then put new grease versus, you know, my other, my 6040, I couldn't find this hole that actually attaches, let's say, the little grease nipple or either, either they don't cut, you know, the hole or they're in a position where I couldn't see it. So to maintenance uh, the other, my other CNC was, you know, really hard. And uh, now with these ones, you know, it should be a lot easier, you know. But what I had to do is that one, one of the, uh, let's say the ball nuts, when I used to spin it, you used to, let's say, do maybe a couple of turns and then we'll have like a one little spot where you can feel like he used to drag. Uh, so what I did was uh, put some WB-40, just spin it back and forward a couple of times, you know, trying to clean uh, either the ball bearings or something that wasn't there. And then I actually end up, you know, making all three, you know, the same. So all he needed, was you know some WB40 and you know some WB40 just to clean them uh, I mean now with the grease nipple ones before I install them I'm gonna you know put new grease in there just so they don't spin you know like this because they they do make a little let's say little noise that you can hear just the bearing rolling against the against the rod but with some grease, it should, you know, help it, you know, maybe give it prolong the life of the bearing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And this is, you know, most of the stuff I'm going to be using to build my CNC. So I'm going to explain more about, let's say, the uh, smooth stepper and how to connect them. And uh, more about the, you know, the Technic motor once I get to those parts. But as, you know, as right now, I just wanted to show you. Uh, most of the components I'm gonna be using to build my CNC. So hopefully, uh, I'll start you know working on my building my CNC soon, and I'll start trying to put more videos, you know, as you know, as I go along. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next next time.